here we go. The lesson for the day, we're going to talk about the reading process. Now, the way some of the tutors teach here at LEAP is we talk about the reading process. The main things we cover are basic phonics. For new students, that means sounds. Then we go to words. And we try to understand how words are put together. Then we go to sentences. How sentences are put together. Then we go to paragraphs. And how paragraphs are put together. And since we, most of our students are trying to learn how to read so they can get their GED, we go to essay and how essays are constructed. Let's talk about sounds. In English, there are 44 sounds. Okay? But there's a problem. There are only, how many letters are there, class, in the English language? Does anyone know? 26, absolutely right, 26 letters. Does anyone have an idea of how you can make 44 sounds with 26 letters? Any ideas? I'll give you a hint. Vowels and consonants? What? Vowels and consonants, absolutely right, are part of the letters. But what if you put some letters together? So what if I say, S-H. What sound does that make? Shh. Absolutely right. So therefore, you put two sounds together to make a, a sound, one sound. What if I do this? What sound does this make? Ch. 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 Absolutely right. What if I do this? I'm sorry, this would be a W. W-H. Which? Which or which? Which? <laughs> which, which, which. Absolutely right. So therefore, you can make more sounds if you have combined different letters. The fancy word for this is called digraphs. Okay? I'm going to use a different color just to show off. Di stands for two and graphs stands for letters. Everybody cool with that? So when you combine two letters together, it makes one sound. Everybody good with that? Fantastic. So remember this original scenario. Your boyfriend comes home. He looks unkempt. There's a fancy word for sloppy. He uh, has lipstick on his collar, and now he has to come up with some reasons for why he's late. And you make him write a paragraph explaining his bad behavior. So he says, his topic sentence is, I'm not cheating. So he has to come up with a reason for why he says what he says. That's the whole point of a paragraph, is to convince you or convince the reader that of your point of view. So what are some reasons he could have for being out so late? Hanging with the boys. Hanging with the boys, I heard that. So his first complete sentence was, I was hanging with the boys. All right, Smarty. Why does he have lipstick on his collar? Or he gave his friend a hug. I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Rev, what'd you say? He, 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 he gave, gave one of his friends a hug. He gave somebody a hug, okay. Giving his mother a hug. He saw his mother. Dude, I know that's happening to me. <laughs> <laughs> We're speaking from personal experience here. Well, I'm letting it go. I gave someone a hug. Why is his hair all disheveled? Why is his hair all messed up? Windy outside. He went to the club. Windy. He was windy outside. All right. So her name was Windy, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So there you go. So what's the topic sentence of this paragraph? I'm not cheating. There you go. And the supporting details and reasons are everything else that follows that, right? I was hanging with the boys. Uh, I gave someone a big hug. And it was windy outside. So that's the basic structure of a paragraph. Now, of course, you want to have sentences that have more variance and more life to them and all that kind of stuff. That's another lesson, right? So the whole idea is 
like for instance, you take the word, we go from sounds like the word sound like I and W and A and S and the CH in cheating, right? So we're diagraphs, and then we, we understand how to read the full word. Then we go to complete sentences. All these sentences have a subject, and they have a verb, and they have an object. And then you have a complete paragraph. You have a main, you have a topic sentence, I'm gonna call it TS, and then you write, you have details and reasons that follow that. So I think that's our complete lesson for the day. Everybody good with that? Yes. yes. Was that a life transforming lesson? <laughs> you can say no. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. Thank you. Good job, everybody.